Good morning uh, and welcome to Astral Gem Predicts. Um, <laughs> there's only me today. Gwen is off sailing away, having a lovely time, I'm sure, uh, and by now has reached Iceland. So she's not in a little rowboat rowing away. <laughs> she's on one of those big ships. So um, unfortunately, the Wi-Fi is such that it's a bit difficult for her to get um, onto uh, our normal uh, routine of recording. And of course, it's new moon. So we've got a new moon situation to um, discuss, to look at the energy and uh, to do our card reading for. So um, because she's not here, I've picked a couple of packs of cards that I'm sure she would appreciate and probably would have used at least one. Uh, the first one is the Priestess of Light cards uh, by Sandra and Taylor and Kimberly Weber. Uh, both of us love this pack. Both of us think it's fabulous. Uh, I've also picked the uh, Crystal Therapy cards by Nikki uh, Thompson Guest um, to give us a little bit of a, maybe a crystal insight to what we can do to help with the new moon energies. And one of my favourite packs, Return of Spirit by Cheryl Lee Harnish. Um, and uh, they come out for me very, very regular um, to see what's going on. Um, and we've got this lovely new moon energy and there's a lot going on. <laughs> it's quite turbulent energy. Um, again, uh, we're being kind of prompted, move on, move forward. So in order to move forward, we often have to let go. <laughs> and sometimes I don't want to let go. But this is a, a lovely new moon um, in the run-up to uh, some very um, powerful astrological uh, uh, events. So it's bound to be a very interesting month. So I'm just going to get a couple of cards, I think, from each pack today. And we'll see what happens. Give me a quick shuffle. Oh, one's fallen out. So I want that one. But when they fall out, it means you definitely have to pay attention. And uh, the third pack. Let's just have a see what uh, crystal help we're going to get with this. Um, because crystals are a wonderful way of balancing out the energies and helping yourself to be steady when things are changing around you. So um, the first card that I've got <laughs> is the card duality. Uh, this is, um, for me, uh, very uh, important to understand that we, are a we have two sides or two natures. We have the spirit within and we have our human personality. And at the moment in this new moon energy, you may find that there's a bit of a tussle going on about how you live. Uh, do I live from my spirit? Do I live from my human side? So uh, material versus intuitive. And um, that the events that are going on could have many meanings. Um, it isn't all quite as simple as it looks. And because we've got a new moon, that's going to start bringing enlightenment, bringing in light, it's important to remind yourself that it doesn't always look on the surface the same as it is underneath, because duality can often create misunderstandings. And it's very important as this new moon comes in to keep clear to understand your intuition is actually the best guide. You've got that gut feeling. If something doesn't feel right, try and work out, think about why doesn't it feel right? What's going on? What am I not seeing or understanding? Now, there is a power in this duality in that we've got a journey into learning how to blend and to understand ourselves and to make sense of the world as we see it and of course um it's in it's a priestess of light card and that's reminding us we've got this upsurge 
of divine feminine energy. So that we're looking at creative uh, actions more than we're looking at practical actions. So where are you being guided? What 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 solution would you really want? Uh, how would you really want to fix things, if you like? And what's the best way to work through and to send out those hopes and dreams for the universe to bring in? Out with it came brilliant beliefs. Now, I just adore this card. Um, I'll bring it closer. Here <coughs> is this uh, priestess, all um, enlightened, all ready, focused, looking at all that beautiful energy that she's carrying and the opportunity to recognise that we've got this beautiful life force uh, and we've got personal power. We, we may be spirit and human, but we've also, that gives us a beautiful, um, the spirit gives us life, it animates us. So um, in this new moon, um, you might feel a kind of Kundalini rise, a life force rise. You are going to be more energized over the next couple of weeks. And you're going to be asked to recognize your personal power. Um, you've got uh, a mission. You've got a sense of why you're here in your spirit. And that's coming more to the fore. Um, it's about remembering uh, that you are a unique being and that what you have to offer is vital to the world, vital to the, the, the tapestry of humanity. And if you don't offer it, then we, we lose something. Everybody loses something. So in the next couple of weeks, you'll also find that you are working out what do I believe in? Uh, yes, I know who I am, but what are my values? What is my power based on? Uh, is it based on loving kindness? Is it based on loving myself? Uh, is it based on maybe trying to get others to love me and readjusting so that you are full of the flow of life and life force and that you're here, you're engaged, you're busy in the life that you've got. Um, the next one that came out <laughs> is that one, it's called Voice, and when we um, take on, when we understand we've got personal power, when we're working from our personal power, recognising that we are a spirit and a human being and that we've got values and beliefs, then we can speak. <laughs> And over the next two weeks, it is important for you to contribute with your voice, to give your ideas and your inspirations. And um, we often forget that um, what we say impacts on others. Um, we forget that we can be inspirational. We, we don't go around going, oh, I'm going to inspire, I'm going to inspire. Um, it's just the things we say, somebody goes, oh, that's exactly what I needed, or that's that makes perfect sense. Um, that that voice, giving voice to what we want and giving voice to what we feel and believe, it's it's really important. Um, so being aware that it's okay to speak your truth and, and that it is okay to build your voice to be clear and articulate everything you want to say so a lot of energy um, in that because when the divine feminine energy is flowing um, what we're doing if we give voice is we're expressing our creative side we're expressing the ways in which we get solutions and and change outcomes into positive outcomes um we, we are um we're in a really powerful time we're, we're uh, getting additional energies and one of the things that we forget to do is to speak our intentions it can't happen if we don't 
give it voice, if we don't give it energy, put the words behind it. So when you're thinking about your dreams and your wishes, not only write them down, say them out loud, repeat them to yourself. This is a time for doing affirmations. This is a time to really get stuck into, this is what I want. This rising of the energy up to full moon helps us to really shape what it is I want going forward. So use that voice. <laughs> And what you'll get is recognition. This is the recognition card. Um, there's lots of beautiful gold in this and, and beautiful uh, light colours. Um, we won't get recognition unless we recognise it first for ourselves. So recognising I'm a spirit within a human body starts to draw my spirit forward just to help me to remind me right well you said you do this and you said you'd achieve that and did it um and recognizing my personal power recognizing my values and beliefs looking below that surface stuff into the deeper meanings and sorting out where i've misunderstood um we, we often get stuck on a track <laughs> this is what it is so this is sometimes we have to step back and go oh i'll take another look at that i'll, I'll just see if that's exactly <laughs> if that's right uh, if that's fitting me or if it suits me and this idea of recognizing what is what <laughs> where we're at helping us to then put that recognition out into the world so others recognize oh, you know she's giving voice to her plans she wants this she wants that we're getting then recognition from others but first recognizing ourselves um it can be very powerful emotionally to recognize yourself to say i am here and I am here for this purpose, and I am here because I believe in this. Um, that that is a real kind of recognition of the power, the personal power. And then what we can do is we can put that outward and listen for the recognition from others. And we can help them because we can recognize them. We can say, oh, you're good at that, or you believe that, that's interesting. Or, and we can grow this sense of seeing that we're connected in lots and lots of different ways. I feel this new moon is, is asking us to look at connections, asking us to kind of recognize we thrive if we are connected. And I do mean with non-physical as well as physical beings, um, the intuitive world is as important as the um, material world. So recognising even that we've got intuition is a big step forward. Recognising that gut feeling and recognising that we can be steered, um, navigate things better if we use the compass of our intuition. That's something we need to recognise more. And because we're getting this, these blasts to open us up to more divine feminine, getting on board with, we've got a compass, we've, we've got a, a way forward is really important. Um, I wanted to get the crystal cards out because I wanted to see what kind of crystal vibrations we needed to focus on. The first one is ruby. And Ruby is uh, uh, reminding us about survival. Um, we've been and are still in a massive root chakra wobble. Um, as individuals, we may feel like, oh, I've got a roof over my head, I've got food, I've got clothes, I've got warmth. We may feel, yeah, I've got what I need at the most basic levels. However, many, many human beings don't have all of that and don't feel secure. Many are coming at life from a I need to survive perspective rather than I need to thrive. And what Ruby vibration is helping us to do 
is to remind ourselves that we will always survive. Um, we, we survive as long as we are required to be here. When we finished all our jobs, we're going back. We're not staying here forever. So survival is not um, kind of the be all and end all. But when fear is around, when uh, our um, ability to survive is under threat, which at the moment globally it is, we actually start to think we won't survive. We feel like we won't survive. And life becomes very wobbly and very unsteady. Now, some of the retrograde planets, <laughs> bless them, are actually tackling this issue of survival. What does it take to survive? How much of anything do we need to continue our existence? Because that's what survival is about. But it's also challenging us to think about beyond our human existence, does consciousness survive? Will we continue as a being? Now, personally, as a medium, I'm gonna say yes, because I speak to lots of consciousnesses who are non-physical, who have survived, gone out of this physical life and into another life. So for me, survival is a kind of an eternal factor. We, we eternally survive, but as a human being, it can feel very wobbly when the world is wobbly. So uh, in the next couple of weeks, try to remind yourself it's not about survival. You will survive. What it's about is having a living experience, which is a very different kind of energy. It's, a, it's about going into life, not frightened that it's got an end, but going into life determined to live every single moment, uh, putting yourself in the position of the ruby vibration of, of sort of being aware it will all, you know, it will all be fine. And I like ruby particularly with its connection to heart and to intuition to kind of steady me and go, oh, okay. It feels a little bit wobbly at the moment. There's a lot of anxiety for all sorts of reasons, maybe I just need to recognize I'm an eternal being and, and whatever happens in this particular experience of life, I, I will continue to exist and to thrive. And maybe to readdress what I'm wobbling about and recognize, ha, ah, I am surviving. Ah, I only need to worry about today or, I only need to think about today or, or even it's only today. Who knows how many tomorrows we get? So Ruby there to help us in this vibration. Oh, and another of my favourites, Russell 80 Quartz. Um, it's often uh, when it's got gold strands in it, it's called Angel Hair Quartz. Um, it's quartz with uh, in, uh, inclusions with with the other things in it uh, that look like strands of hair mostly um, and this is all about movement um, related quartz it, it's an energizer but it's also um, a, a, a booster of for me self-esteem a booster for us to remember that eternal connection um, and it's giving us the um, vibration that we need to recognize movement is happening. Sometimes the movement is so, so small, only tiny, itty bitty little step or only a tiny little sense of today I'm a bit different than yesterday. Um, it, it, can be, it can be such a small thing, we, we don't notice it. Uh, Russellated Quartz over the next two weeks is going to give us that sense of connection because that's what's lovely about this stone. It's got connection in it, um, the strands in it. Uh, some, sometimes it's tourmaline. It can be all sorts. But it's, it's showing us there's a connection that we are the duality that came up in the first <laughs> card and that um, however tiny that movement 
when we observe it over a longer period of time, we see how much has happened. And I'm getting the image of trees. Um, uh, trees, you know, they, they start the year with no leaves, most of them. And then gradually, ever so gradually, tiny little buds and, and then they become tiny little leaves and then they grow in and there's more and there's the, the branches are spreading and, and there's this beautiful shift to a fully clothed tree. And then it, it, it sort of drops those, um, it drops those leaves and we're back to a bare tree. But it's showing us over this length of time the change that's possible. So even though it may feel in this new moon as if oh, everything's up in the air, everything's at sixes and sevens, what we've actually got is a movement forward an individual and a collective movement forward bit by bit by bit and I'm feeling like I just need to get a seventh card today so I'm just going to get one. Oh, this is a lovely card this is innocence um, I sometimes use this as a mandala card just sit with it propped up and and just look into it um, there's an X in the middle, kind of an X marks the spot, a little blue X. <laughs> X marks the spot. Um, and for me, uh, this is, is all connected with the purity of heart and purity of energy and purity because it's solar plexus, that's connection with others, pure connection. So what the new moon is helping us to advance to is those clearer purer connections with one another and with uh, our guides and inspirers uh, this new moon is asking us maybe to let go of uh, uh, judgment and and to look at the innocence of being a spirit within a human body how wonderful it is to have that perhaps more childlike approach to life taking it as it is moment to moment rather than trying to second guess and third guess and, and you know be frustrated because we don't seem to be able to guess one way or the other so um yeah a, a kind of a return to and the other thing that i'm getting with this is a bit like um, our atlantean lives were lives of innocence in a sense without the uh division without the um the hidden agendas and we are trying to return back to that more collective more consciously unified uh belief in one another and belief in our human journey and what it's all about. So, very interesting. <laughs> I hope that you can take uh, some of that uh, for yourselves this month. Um, and, oh, sorry, you need another crystal. Crystals sometimes like to work in trees. <laughs> okay. Um, this is aquamarine. This is letting go. <laughs> um, uh, I love aquamarine. It is a higher vibrational stone. Uh, for me, it always connects with the archangels. Uh, it is about the higher mind, the higher self, and understanding that um, we, we are trying to operate from a higher sense of self, that innocence, actually. Um, and if we are in a position where the energy is turbulent, actually being able to kind of look at it from a higher perspective so um rather than seeing the detail this next two weeks try to see the bigger picture um this is where you need to soar like an eagle almost have a look at the whole of what's going on for you not just the bit that's in front of you in that moment i feel like the new moon energy is wanting you to um recognize the whole of the picture 
and then you're able to come back down to the detail as we get to full moon and refine and redirect your energies at full moon into what it is you bring through. Aquamarine is also about letting go. So making sure that um, anything that's holding you in the past is moving on and that you are um, encouraging yourself to be in the here and now, not in the past. Um, that can be hard to do. We, we often have to employ forgiveness and gratitude and a lot of love to get ourselves to be in the moment. Uh, but it's part of recognising the past is the past in, in terms of this existence. Uh, we don't get to go back and rewrite it uh, here and now. In the here and now, we are, are just doing what isn't required in this moment. We're not even looking at the future at the moment. We're just moving, gently moving along. So let go and move. Uh, I always think of it like getting into the swimming pool and holding on to the side and oh, I don't know if I can push off and swim and, and then having having that experience of letting go and finding the water will support you. So emotionally, you may find that you're doing some letting go and clearing in this new moon. And it's, it's so that you can come to a place of balance, of equilibrium with the way that you feel. Okay, <laughs> I think that's it now. <laughs> I think that's it. Hope that you've enjoyed uh, this Astral Gem um, video. Uh, please follow us. Uh, we we have um, uh, websites, each of us. Um, we are on Facebook, uh, Gwen Coltman, Annie Conboy. Uh, find us. Um, Google us if you like. Um, and uh, please follow along. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at uh, YouTube's uh, playlist uh, there you'll get the most up-to-date uh, readings card readings and we'll be back <laughs> Gwen's back at uh, full moon and then there'll be two of us so take care everyone have a good fortnight and I'll see you with Gwen soon bye